Cicero is a very quiet place tonight, but when the widely publicized Civil Rights March comes through here tomorrow, things will be different. The size of the march through these streets is in some doubt. It's being led by the Congress of Racial Equality without the support of Dr. Martin Luther King. But 2,000 National Guardsmen will be on duty to keep the peace. Tonight, only a few Guardsmen were working at the armories, preparing for an early morning mobilization. The Guard Commander, Major General Francis Kane, said his men will use all necessary force to protect the marchers. The people of Cicero are awaiting this march with considerable interest. ABC's Bud Fotopoulos walked the streets and talked to the residents of all-white Cicero. You think there's going to be trouble here tomorrow? No, I don't think so. Why not? Because there's too many National Guardsmen here. Okay, suppose the Guard wasn't here, then what? I think there'll be a lot of bloodshed. Why? Because the people hate the Negroes, I think. Coming out here and causing trouble. It's all communist inspiration. Do you think there will be trouble here tomorrow if there's a civil rights march? I doubt it very much. Why do you say that? Well, if everybody stays off the street and minds their own business, we'll be no trouble. That's all there is to it. Cicero won't stand for that. Why do you say that? I don't want no color in it. Where are you from? Mississippi. What are you doing in Cicero? I came here to work. How do you feel about the Negro living in this community? Well, I think he has the a constitutional right to live in this city as he does anywhere. But uh, personally speaking, from what I've heard, I think uh, King, uh, for his own uh, well-being, should call the march off because it seems that uh, a riot will be inevitable because uh, everyone is totally against it in the city as far as I know of. You think there's going to be violence Sunday? I definitely do. How much? How well, bad? I believe it will be uh, probably the worst uh, in this area because this place, the city, seems to be the toughest of all of them. Thank you. How do you feel about uh, the King March into Cicero Sunday? Uh, well, I don't feel too good about it. Are you going to be here? Um, I don't really know right now. What do you think about a Negro moving into the community of Cicero? It's going to start a lot of trouble. You think so? Sure. Why? Well, you know, you got a peaceful neighborhood. You know, you don't want the colored people to ruin it for you. It's a clean neighborhood, and we don't want, you know, no trouble from nobody, huh? And I feel if they're going, if they're going to march, uh, it's going to start a lot of trouble. This Sunday will be a day of decision for the people of Cicero. Dr. Martin Luther King will lead his civil rights marchers probably right down this street, but under the protection of the Illinois National Guard. What made Cook County Sheriff Richard Ogilvie say that Cicero will make Gage Park, Chicago look like a tea party? There are 70,000 residents in this community over four and a half square miles. 95 police officers protect them. They live in modest bungalows along quiet streets. They boast of a low crime rate and low taxes. 15,000 Negroes work in Cicero's factories, but not one Negro family lives here. 15 years ago, a Negro bus driver moved into this building. A mob of 5,000 angry whites drove him out. They stormed the apartment, burned his furniture, clothing, and personal belongings. And then they stoned the building and broke out every window. Since then, no Negro has dared to move to Cicero. Police have received numerous phone calls in recent days from angry residents who swear they will come out and fight the marchers this Sunday. And so the National Guard was requested to keep the peace. Despite all this, King is determined to march. And so this Sunday, the residents must decide whether Cicero will maintain its reputation as the most violent anti-Negro community in metropolitan Chicago. This is Hugh Hill, ABC News, Cicero, Illinois.
How do you feel about the King March on Sunday? Personally speaking, I, it doesn't matter much to me, sir. I think that he has, he's entitled to march here as well as he, he has done south, sir. And I think the, uh, President Johnson should uh, give him all the support and, and attention as he did down south. Because I think the north here is uh, part of the land, uh, the land of the nation, like Johnson, uh, Kennedy referred to in 64 uh, and 65. Are you from the south? That's right, Alabama. Do you live in Cicero now? That's correct. You think the Negroes should live in Cicero? Well, he should is anywhere else in the country, as far as I'm concerned. Sir, uh, do you work in Cicero? Yes, I do. Well, how do you feel about the Martin Luther King's march in here on Sunday? I think it's a, per a perfectly legal thing. Legal? Yes. You think he should do it on a moral basis? I do believe so, yes. Why? Because each and every person living in Chicago in the United States of America should have a chance to live as they see fit and as they can afford to. And at the same time, I believe that uh, they're not breaking uh, any laws because of the fact that they want to go in and express their desires to live as other American citizens. Would you live in Cicero if you had a chance? I certainly would. Thank you very much. Surely. I mean, how come Martin Luther King doesn't, uh, isn't going march to march to Cicero? Tough? Yeah, how come he isn't? He'll be here. Really? Yeah. What? How do you feel about the AB? Plenty. You think the Well, look, they got to call the National Guard before it even starts. That's how much trouble it'll be. Is there going to be any shooting? I don't know about that. You think they'll go after King? Probably. Will you be here? I don't know yet. It's supposed to go out. You're supposed to go out of town? Yeah, with my man. Okay, thank you. How do you feel about uh, Dr. Martin Luther King coming in on Sunday? Well, I just think they should stay uh, in Chicago. And... Because uh, everybody in Cicero minds their own business. We just don't want no marchers. What about people moving in, Negroes? Well, I don't think they should. They should just leave well enough alone. If it's got to be, it's got to be. But they don't. they shouldn't march. What about you? How do you feel? Same way. They should stay where they're at. Why cause more trouble? They have enough trouble as it is. How do you feel about it? I don't think they should march. I think if uh, when they march, it only causes more trouble. If they want to move in, they should just try and move in and do it peacefully. They shouldn't go marching down the streets. I don't think it's right. How do you feel about it, young man? Oh, I think that they should stay out. Think the people will be out on Sunday? That's right. Okay. issue took a turn in 1966 and it was not clear whether it was for better or for worse. One thing certain was that the Negroes had taken over their own case and were no longer depending on the help of white liberals. At a congressional hearing, author Claude Brown stated the case. All the white community has tried to do is placate, you know, the, like just, just keep the niggas cool, you know, like pass the civil rights bill. Most, most Negroes who are aware of well, who've been around, have the slightest bit of awareness of what's going on politically in the country, they take the Civil Rights Bill as the new method of placating the Negro. 
Whatever civil rights legislation had accomplished, it had not always placated Negroes, and it had often angered whites. The words white backlash became a familiar phrase. Racial violence occurred most frequently between Negroes and whites who were closest in economic status. James Meredith went back to Mississippi, determined to prove he could walk the roads to Jackson. A man with a shotgun proved he couldn't. Meredith was not seriously hurt. Negro leaders rallied around the cause en masse to continue the march that Meredith had begun. There was growing evidence that Negroes knew what they wanted. They wanted, for instance, to be able to live in Cicero, Illinois. In an impressive and relatively orderly demonstration, Chicago Negroes staged a march through Cicero, which had always been barred to them, to dramatize their desire to be able to live any place they could afford to live. Stokely Carmichael was the militant new leader. We've got to build so much strength in building our community that if they come to get one person, they're going to have to mess with us all. That's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. We've got to build so much strength inside our community so that when LBJ says, come here, boy, to my war, we say, hell no, we ain't going. He invented a phrase. Martin Luther King turned away wrath with a soft answer. Now what I'm saying is this, I would like for all of us to believe in nonviolence, but I'm here to say tonight that if every Negro in the United States turns against nonviolence, I'm going to stand up as a lone voice and say this is the wrong way. Congressman Adam Clayton Powell had the answers. I think Martin Luther King is going through an agonizing reappraisal. He doesn't belong to the uh, decadent, uh, aristocratic uh, colonials of the civil rights movement. Who were the decadent, aristocratic? Well, I don't want to call names, but the names are obvious. Uh, Martin Luther King uh, has done a yeoman job, and he's got the guts to keep on doing it. And once he knows what black power really means, he doesn't know what it means. What does it mean? It means dignity. It doesn't mean violence. It means integrity. It doesn't mean anti-white. It means pride in being black. It means you're willing to cooperate with your white brother and sister if they're going to cooperate with you in terms of giving you the same things that they have.
Uh, and then what, what, is, what is we're feeling right now? Rest. We expect you. We will. We expect Everybody marching in are non and beyond. Well, I'm sure you're going to get told, it. I told, I left on my... Talk to your people. I talked to them. Good. Everything you want to do. Fine. Just want to get you to talk to them. You'll get the maximum protection by all friends. One, one other thing. Hey, Oh, no, 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 no. 